Hi Year 11, I hope that you're all well and managing to survive in this crazy time. In this last week before half term we should have had our leavers mass and our final assembly. We know that those things are just not possible at the moment but we still wanted to gather you all together in prayer to let you know that we're praying for you and for your families. We're praying for the future that is yours to make of what you will. You need to remember that you were made to be truly great. My thanks to some of the year team, Mrs Robbins, Mr Minchell, Mr Wells, Ms Goodwin and Ms O'Connor for sharing some of their prayers and reflections during this short video and a really big thank you to our school chaplain, Father Pat, for, as always, bringing a sense of calm to the storm. Keep watching to the end. You will make an appearance. I hope you enjoy. God bless. So we begin together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father, we ask you to bless our Year 11 students as they prepare for the next part of their journey through life. May we always value the gifts of friendship, care and compassion and be sensitive to the needs of others. Lord, hear us. God our Father, we thank you for all the teachers and staff at Cardinal Newman School who work to make our school a safe, happy and caring place in which we learn. We pray that you continue to guide them in their journey as teachers. Lord, hear us. God our Father, we bring before you the prayers of our whole community. At this time of uncertainty and worry, bring peace of heart and courage of will as we strive to help one another. Lord, hear us. We place these prayers and our own intentions into the hands of Our Lady as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We know that we came to quite an abrupt ending of year 11, and it can be hard to think of what will happen next. We need to trust in God's plan for each and every one of us. In his reading from Ecclesiastes, God tells us that there is a time for everything. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Dear Year 11, I know that as the priest chaplain, I hover around the edges of your life at Cardinal Newman, those edges being mostly times for mass. You always welcome me to school and I am uplifted to have those times with you. I am delighted to have this opportunity to speak with you and offer a blessing for your present and futures too. It would have been wonderful to celebrate with you a mass in school, but because of coronavirus and the consequences that this has brought, we are unable to do so. In my parish of Holy Family we have a webcam and a Mass is live streamed every day of the week. This weekend there would have been first Holy Communion celebrations, but again this has had to be postponed. Postponed means to cause or arrange for something to take place at a time later than first scheduled. Recently we marked the 75th anniversary of VE Day, Victory in Europe Day, and Vera Lynn has been heard singing we will meet again. Don't know where, don't know when, but some sunny day we will meet again. This year at school has only been postponed in the sense that what we wanted to achieve is not null and voided, but is still very much part of how our lives will unfold before us. This year with its twists and turns and unexpected content will be part of your life's experience. 
an experience that you will tell your loved ones as you grow older and as this virus becomes a distant memory. You are very much still the present and you have within you the potential for greatness and for achieving all your goals in life. As a priest, I often talk about the future and how that is very much in the hands of our creator, the author of our lives. Your futures are bright, your characters and personalities unique and to be celebrated. I know the sadness for many of you that all the hard work you've put in seems to be blighted by the virus. But your contribution to Cardinal Newman and beyond, your flourishing as maturing, responsible people is the lasting joy of those who teach you and who pastorally care for you. I offer two of St John Henry Newman's prayers for you and ask that you be blessed in your lives now and in the future. God does not postpone his love for you or me or anyone. God loves you and I hope you experience that love in the abundance that it has been given. So with Newman I pray, may he support us all the day long till the shades lengthen and the evening comes, the busy world is hushed, the fever of life over and our work is done. Then in his mercy, may he give us a safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at the last. And the mission of my life. God has created me to do some definite service. He has committed some work to me which he has not committed to another. I have my mission. I may never know it in this life, but I shall be told it in the next. I am a link in a chain, a bond of connection between persons. He has not created me for naught. I shall do good. I shall do his work. I shall be an angel of peace, a preacher of truth in my own place, while not intending it, if I do but keep his commands. Therefore I will trust him. Whatever I am, I can never be thrown away. If I am in sickness, my sickness may serve him. In perplexity, my perplexity may serve him. If I am in sorrow, my sorrow may serve him. He does nothing in vain. He knows what he is about. He may take away my friends. He may throw me among strangers. He may make me feel desolate, make my spirit sink, hide my future from me. Still, he knows what he is about. May God bless you, Year 11. Bless your smiles, your personalities, and your lives now and always. to 
a place. Guide us with your grace. Give us faith so we'll be Stay so we'll be safe.